Ahoy, this is Zdenka. Once you get your hands on 85 millimeters lens and you try this focal length, you will want to add it to your kit. Why is this focal length so popular? In this video, I'm gonna explain how you can use this and what is this suitable for, as well as we will check quality of this particular lens as it is a steel deal, only $200. They already made this lens for Canon EF mount, Nikon F mount, and now Sony E mount cameras. I have Sony a7S III. So why would you want to go with 85 millimeters focal length? You will know exactly what I mean when I show you these two photos. Here is a sample shot from a 23 millimeters lens. And here is a sample shot from this Mica 85 millimeters lens. 85 millimeters focal length is not too wide or not too telephoto. It falls somewhere in the middle. You can take photos or videos of everything from close-ups of flowers, insects, to portraits, street photography, trips, and so on. Because the aperture is so wide, it perfectly isolates the object out of the background. It just perfectly stands out. This is great for indoors and outdoors photography and video. On the other hand, 85 millimeters lens is perfect for portraits and objects to stand out. But if you need more depth in photos and videos, this is not the right focal length. So what are the best subjects to shoot with this? Portraits and close-ups. This 85 mm lens offers a very narrow depth of field, which makes the background blurry. This helps to keep all the focus on your subject. Plus, it creates bokeh effect and which draws the attention to them as well. Vacation, trips, landscapes, selective architecture, short range sports, theater photography and street photography. This focal length is great for capturing landscapes outdoors because you get a lot more details in the foreground and background. How much sharpness you want in your photos and videos, you can control yourself with selecting the right aperture. When it comes to street photography, vacation and trips, the same applies. The lens is not too big and it's very light, making it easy to carry around. Well, the question is how this particular lens perform. The lens minimum focusing distance is 85 centimeters, uses a 67 millimeters filter, and measures 79.5 millimeters in diameter with a weight of 386 grams. It is a super light lens. The body is plastic and there is no water resistance. So you have to be very careful with this. There is a USB port so you can update firmware with future updates. It has autofocus system. Let's test how fast it reacts and if there is any sound to it, if the microphone will catch it. Well, some lenses are very quiet, some lenses are not. Bokeh is very smooth, giving a very nice look. This lens has very good sharpness at f1.8 and 2.8. The best sharpness you get is between f4 and 8. Where it is less is at f22. Edge sharpness is not the best at f1.8. It's better at f2.8. It is the best between 5.6 to 8. It's still good at f16, but only okay at f22. When it comes to portraits, the soft edges can actually help to achieve creative results. It has meeting when it is wide open and around the corners. At f2.8, it gets a bit less. 
I didn't notice any chromatic aberration and distortion is absolutely minimal, which is great. I haven't seen any flares when I was shooting against the sun. This is a steel D lens for $200. The optical performance is excellent. And if you don't mind that there is no water resistance, why not? Well, for those interested, the link to this product can be found below the video in the video description. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. Let me know in a comment section below what is your most favorite lens you currently own and what do you use it for? Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ahoy.